Hey, what's up and welcome back everyone to the Iceman Isaac Academy, the second channel of the Warzone Academy dedicated specifically to coaching you every single day. And that's exactly what we're doing today. I'm coaching you. A member of our community submitted his footage via our Discord and we're reviewing his gameplay, breaking it down live on stream with the rest of the members of the Warzone Academy. If you guys want to be a part of this action, make sure to join me live over on Twitch. If you want me to review your gameplay, make sure to uh, submit that via the Discord. And of course, drop a like on this video and subscribe if you want to see more. This is a new channel. We're just about cracked 20,000 subscribers, so I really appreciate all the new views and new subscribers coming into the channel. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay, so we are watching Lee9477, a uh, member of the community, member of the Warzone Academy. He has a 1.34 KD. He's also a streamer. If you guys want to check out his gameplay, we'll have all of his socials linked in the description of this video. He says positives. He has okay movement and pretty good gun skill. Uh, negatives are game awareness and positioning. One of the things I focus on, so that'd be great to help out. Uh, points he wants to focus on overall. He's like, my overall awareness is I get high kill games, but I have minimal wins. Awesome. That is literally what I specialize at is late game awareness and mitigating that stuff. So we can kind of talk through what we should expect to be seeing, um, but hopefully see some good gun gameplay, gunplay in the meantime. So he's opting to land towards the edge of the map, going for that uh, scavenger, which I think is a great way to get some early, um, early, early money. Close to breaking his ankles. Gets the gun. Gets the crack. Nice. Hey, I mean, yeah, that's perfect. You could have played a little bit more aggressive with getting around some of those corners, right? So, like, as you make this hop right here, like, just continue that through a B hop. You could have continued that B hop, and that would have swung you around the corner you're basically just timing the time you put jump that probably would have allowed you to kill that guy and then snap over to the guy on the left but good shots either way you also didn't pick up the ar ammo earlier but hey good start good shots like you said one of your strengths is gun skill you had really solid centering there early part of the game i would try to play it up I still don't think you still haven't played it up. Wondering why you didn't go for that scav. And also wondering why you haven't played it up. Nice. Good use of cover. That's an ambitious, a very, very ambitious cross. Okay, now if I'm you... I'm always playing for info, right? So when I'm down here, what I'm wanting to check is I'm going to sit here at this little hay barrel and I'm just very slowly going to peek over and do what's called a shoulder. I'm just going to shoulder to the right, crouch up, look over. Okay, is he pushing me? If he's not, if he's just sitting there hard, hard aimed at that shed, I'm going to throw all my plates in. If he is pushing me, I'm just going to pull out my grav while he's in that tack sprint animation. And yes, you may have one and a half plates gone. If you see him full sprinting up towards you, you can just gun him while he's in that animation. But this is risky because if he is pre-aiming you, you're going to get gunned. But it seems like based off of that delay, he was sprinting towards you and then had to take his gun back down. Able to get behind cover instantly. You sprint the same speed as you do the second that you stop taking damage start putting those plates in and then while you're putting plates in exact same thing man play for information so you're putting in plates putting in plates putting in plates and you peek this window right here to see if he's pushing through your bottom floor because by the time that you get finished peeking that window and you have your plates in now all of a sudden you can hold this choke point so you're already way behind the curve and now you're having to get out the building you're trying to bait the window i like the idea but Makes a dead silence play. And the amp's pretty gross. But I think without dead silence, you lose that gunfight. Because that guy seemed like he was pretty decent. Um, yeah, man. Take, take control of that gunfight so much sooner. Right there, you opted to run away. Not the worst decision in the world. Right here. Instantly start plating. One plate in. Two plate in. You could be peeking through the top window, pushing that guy. Um, or catching that guy on his push. But hey, you get out of it. You, you're alive. 
you fully played it up. Kind of playing a little bit slower. Early game, man. It's it's a double-edged sword, right? You're, you're shooting unsuppressed weapons, so you assume everyone's going to be pushing you if they hear the gunshots. But on the same side, like, if I'm going to die, I'd rather just get it out of the way quick. Um, you, you killed probably 30 seconds camping inside of that building that I wouldn't have even considered. The second that gunfight's over, I'm gone. I'm going towards my scav. I'm trying to get money so I can get Lodi. Nice job. Looks like looting through some of these buildings, though. You get a loadout. And you opt for... Looks like OTS. Yep. OTS XM4. Me, personally, uh, looks like your builds are perfect. Looks like you're using completely meta builds. Although, it looks like you're using grip tape here. But I can't tell you what the XM4 meta build is off the top of my head. Um, outside of that, I, I wouldn't run Combat Scout, especially in solos. Um, but it's up to you. And then double time, I always rock EOD so I, I don't get exploded. But those are all completely personal preference. Yeah, early game is a race to get loadout because then you build momentum. Like for me, my early game loadouts don't have heartbeat sensors on them. Why? Because like this guy said, he's, he's wanting to... He's got good movement. He's got good gun skill. He wants to get better positioning. But like, why are we doing this? You know? Are you like expecting someone to push you because you threw a loadout? Not a bad idea, but like you can be making those same visual scans. Like you always see guys like me and Breadman do. We jump and we scan. We sprint, we jump, we scan, right? You've got a loadout and you've got good gun skill. You can just absolutely beam anyone with ground loadouts that uh, that comes to push you. Super clean reticle, by the way. An enemy team is hunting you. Stay alert. But I promise you, you're going to get better so much faster if you just ditch this. I understand you're getting hunted. But I just skipped... Two minutes. Of you playing corny. And even if you win this gunfight... You're not going to get a lot better from it. And also... There you go. I was going to say, if you're clearing out the inside of your building, have your OTS out. Which you do. don't like this because they can get peekers advantage on you if they sprint through if a good player sprints through here you're getting gunned because those doors are just godsends for aggressive players because in the amount of time it takes for you to recognize that you're getting pushed you're already dead because on their screen they see you but you haven't even seen them open the door yet so this guy's playing nervous you do a really good... Like, dude, your gun skill is great, man. Why are we playing scared? You got three kills. You could be on 13 right now. Why are we... Why are we buying a loadout? You could get self-revive and a UAV. Lee, you're going to get a free loadout in 45 seconds. Okay, you know, Gold Ram 7. I respect that. I respect the Gold Ram 7. Yo, how did you read that? Oh, we heard like the, like the teleporting sound. Oh, that guy is pissed. Nice. Absolute bag. Durable. Advanced. Another advanced? Pop your advanced, hold that one. Copy. Advanced DAO. Scanning for hostiles. Oh my goodness. Now get out of there before you get locked in there. Okay, now. Why 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 are we why are we buying self revive, Lee? Why aren't we buying self revive? We have 24k. I do like this strategy, though. Doing a nice job. Marking where your next target is going to be. That's super smart. Okay. But as soon as you reach here, right, you know, okay, it is in that building. 
and you hear, be advised, advanced UAV is like bingo fuel, I would mark, pull up the map again and be like, okay, I know I am pushing this building right in front of me. And then you can mark the next location. Even if it's, you know, 200 meters away, you know, as you're heading up to that, what to expect. This? Nah. Nah, you, you know how to slide cancel. You know how to move. You've got a max movement speed bruiser. Uh, bruiser foregrip OTS. Like, go. This? You are asking to get headshot sniped from across the map. In moments of transition, we are pulling out our movement speed weapon and we are slide canceling and moving to our next piece of cover. If you want to aim down sight, that's totally cool. But you are booking it to here and then you are stopping and you are peeking this head glitch and checking. None of this... Crouch walk across the map stuff. Super, super, super lucky timing. But it would be even grosser if he does get lucky timing on you that you're taking that shot not from here out in the middle of nowhere but from a piece of cover. Like this. You know how to do it. I was about to say, when I saw your gun skill and I and I saw your KD, I was kind of surprised, but to be a dick, it, it makes a little bit of sense. All right, nice job. Marking the next location, getting in a vehicle. But now I'm doing the exact same thing. Like, I know, I can remember scav and restaurant, right? So I know I'm just going to push this building. You can mark wherever your next push is going to be. Hey, I got to know there's someone on top of this, uh, you know, multi-story apartment building. Mark that building. Just give yourself some additional information with an advanced UAV. You're only getting one target per advanced UAV. Nice. Little UAV spam. Love that out of you. Get a self revive. Pop one more. He's going up the ladder. Yep. You recognize it? Just get there faster. Get there faster. No! That's why you got to get there faster. You have the realization right now. And then you're just slow strafing. Dude, you've got the movement. B hop like off to the side. Get there faster. Aim down sight faster. Don't mantle that. And then you don't have to waste an airstrike. I love this though. But like honestly, you could you can probably just peek him. You can see where he is on the roof. Yeah, I mean, honestly, good plays. I would just like to see more aggression out of you. Because you have you have the mechanics to do it. But I, I know your biggest thing that you're scared of is, is positioning, right? You you'd mentioned that in your video, so it makes sense that you're probably a little bit hesitant to push through. And that's that's totally fine. You don't not not everyone has to be racking up 20 20 kill games. Let's talk about this one real quick. One, you're playing solos. Right there, the second that I see him, I'm like jumping, right? Because he could possibly see for me. Unless I see him off to a distance and I see him like chuck a Simtex or something at me, I'm generally pretty hesitant to try to run people over, but I'm always ready to press square as quick as I possibly can to get out. Um, if I am going to get out, I'm going to get out and focus on getting next to a piece of cover, right? So I would like drive by this tree, get out by the tree, and then use the tree as cover while I gun him. But I mean, you have an OTS with stopping power. You're not going to lose it. Um, but just something to be aware of. Build a little bit of distance from yourself for the C4. Once again, great shots out of you. Uh, OTS stopping power is definitely going to help you win that gunfight easy. From here, I would have taken the SUV over here. So that way we're not wasting time. You pick up the bounty. Right? And now you're taking attacker over, which has less cover than the bounty. But you're playing all the fundamentals right, man. Playing aggressive. Stacking money, bro. Ever since you got that first, like, big piece of cash, like 30000 
you've kept your money up really well which means you're getting a lot of kills obviously the supply runs are helping you're able to re or the uh the fire sales are helping but you're picking up bounties you're stacking your contracts you're going aggressive being like going for kills love this little pinwheel ass rotation as you head in towards the bounty and then let's see where you get out Keep in mind, not the highest KD lobby. If I were playing this, right? Let, let's say how if, if, if Timmy wasn't sitting here waiting for an easy kill, right? If I'm playing this bounty and I see that this zone is coming in and the only buildings that are safe are this building right here and this building right here, I am going to get out somewhere over here so I can use this natural terrain as cover as I peek through his only limited options of exposure. You, by pushing through, one, you happen to get lucky, right? You don't see that guy until right there. But then two, as you're driving up, he could have, you know, possibly stepped out of that doorway and beamed you, C4'd you. But, uh... But... Gas is closing in. Relocating the safe zone. Nice. Reloads the stopping power. You probably could have saved it or maybe put it into your other gun because you probably still had, like, 20 bullets left in your other gun with stopping power. That's toxic. I love that out of you. And now we're opting to go on foot. Okay. Nope. Job. You got $30,000, brother. Pop and advanced. Because even if they don't show up on your UAV, they're going to show up on their advanced UAV, especially since you're about to rotate in. Pop three UAVs in between each one. Pick up a UAV, pop it, move a little bit. Pick up a UAV, pop it, move a little bit so you don't get headshot sniped, right? Or at least try not to. Buy four UAVs there. You've got the money. You're not trying to give whoever kills you a Christmas present. You're trying to win the game. Especially in solos, man. All, like, you could have people up on this hill that are ghosted that you can use the ping system that you... You know, use and you're using really well. And find them with an advanced and then roll up on them, even though they're ghosted. Uh, I like the idea of getting the SUV, have a little bit more cover. You've got some information. You know, there's one in, uh, in the train station or the fire station and then one heading over towards that train. In a nice place here. You're searching around for that second red dot. You're not getting tunnel vision on the first guy, which is really nice. But that's where it'd be so much nicer, man, to have those three advanced UAVs to send you over here. And then another to give you that information on that guy behind you. I like this. Getting inside. You've got double stun. You've got dead silence. You've got stopping power OTS. Let's make something happen. I like the idea of looking for the cross, but you could do it from the second story window. It'd be safer. That way, if he does, you know, possibly down you with a sniper, you can get the self-res off. But regardless, you're doing the smart thing, looking for the cross and not just camping. Gotta keep in mind, there was a team over here, right? From the fire station that's going to be wrapping in. So we want to be keeping an eye on that. If I were you, I would just do a quick check on this corner. I'm not sure what you're camping over here. There you go. That's the guy we're looking for. This. Even for a fraction of a second, I hate it, man. You are crouching to get, like, either sneak up on someone or hold a head glitch. Even just for a fraction of a second, bro, that has to go. Please. Pop a triple. Pop a triple for me. This is like one of the safer buys in the game. Yes, one. Yep, two. Nice. 
And then combat bow, I wouldn't grab it. I would probably either hold another precision or a UAV, but totally fine. Great movement, great slide, slide cancels. Getting in, popping more bounties. And you're pushing based off of that ping. If you see that ping up there on his map, that's a previous enemy location that he pinged. And now he sees this guy right there. It's rotating out and he's trying to get that kill. Enemy UAV so something that I would incorporate into your game while you're doing some of these checks, instead of just because you're moving fast with your OTS, you're pulling out your XM4, but then it's like I'm dynamically moving with my with 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 my OTS out. And then I'm pulling out my XM4 and I'm aiming down sight, and that is all I am doing. Now, granted, it's probably going to be a little bit tougher because you're on controller. Um, this is where scuffs come in handy. I'm not trying to do a hashtag ad, but they are very useful. Um, that's where it's really useful, where you can have the scuff, where you can run towards a target, and then you can switch weapons from your OTS to your XM4. You can aim down sight, and you can shoot the player... Or what I'm trying to tell you to do is run towards a target, switch your weapon, and then aim down sight, and then B-hop. I guess you could even do it with this, or you could do it with Claw, but Claw is a lot more difficult. Like, keep your momentum heading towards a target, because you're trying to close in on someone right now, which I love that instinct. But and you'll, you'll see a lot of pro players, instead of doing that, they're sprinting, pulling out their long-range weapon, and then they're jumping and they're B-hopping, and it, 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 makes a, it makes a big difference, man, because it adds up. Every time you pull out that long-range weapon, you're, you're B-hopping forward. It keeps you moving forward, harder to get sniped, and allows you to close in on that target faster. Yes. Use code Isaac for 5% off your scuff. I-S-A-A-C. Like, I really don't like this. That's good. Only for a little bit, little period of time. That's fine. And I'm fine with it. Kind of like next to cover, right? If you get sniped, you can, you can pop yourself revive. But I've seen a couple times where you're in no man's land. Crouched up. Like this, not a fan of. There's so many angles from top airport to storage town. Just move, which it looks like what you're doing doing here. You are so close to being a demon, man. I don't know if you see that glare. So yeah, you see that? <laughs> I thought I saw it. I thought I saw it right there. You can. Oh, too fast. See that? Lens flare. Lens flare right there. Lens flare right there. So like this, even that little bit, man, you should be like, kind of like jumping and checking or doing something to make yourself unpredictable. But it looks like you recognize it. Switch to your fast movement speed. Keep moving. You're changing up laterally. Snake pattern, right? Because even if you're running away from a target, it's still going to be the same shot. You want to make sure you're making his life hard. Decide to wrap all the way around. Say, screw that. I'm not dealing with it. I love it. You go to pick up a bounty. It's not available. Spot a guy way in the distance. Pretty good shots. You can either go for that or you can just kill that line of sight like you're doing right now and just try to close in on him. You've got dead silence. Or you could really be that guy and pull your combat bow. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is he? He's cheating. Listen up, soldier. Yeah, I mean, that's also part of the benefit. Like, I don't think this was a terrible play, right? Like, I was, I, I, I didn't have any, like, gut instinct to say, ooh, don't do this. Like, I would probably pull out my XM4 just because you're most likely going to be doing a ranged engagement somewhere in here. Your scan pattern is perfect.
Only thing I would have done differently. I mean, it's it's completely back, back, you know, armchair quarterback. The second you go down, right? My focus is moving my body to a location where I can get the self revive off. Even if he didn't throw that nade, he's going to come here and he's going to pop up and he's going to have a line of sight on you right here. So I would have worked my way back behind the uh, box behind you, but that's just super unfortunate. But we got the gulag. Good movement. Love these aggressive pushes. But one thing I always advertise for, man, the millisecond you get your utility, you freaking throw it. Because if someone stuns you before you stun them, you are dead. So, you do a really nice aggressive chow, right? Aggressive chow. Peek. Okay, kind of peek up, check a different angle right there. I, st I would stop right here and throw to the back left if and see if I get a hit marker. No point in you chowling if the utility can do the work for you. Really nice re -chow. That guy swung aggressively and a... Dude, great shots. You're a super solid player, man. I'm just, you're, I, your weekly KD must be a lot higher than your... Um, actually, we can look. Lifetime is 1.36. Last seven days is a 2.49. Yeah. Wait, no. That's kills per game. So 1.26. You are much better than a 1.26 player, my friend. Keep at it. Really nice job there on the reach, Al. You catch that guy in the sprint animation with the burst gun. He's not going to get the shots off. Nice win. All right. Now this is tough. You know you're dealing with a cheater. Um, the cheater most likely could wrap out. But if I was you, I would do the exact same thing. I'm just going to ego my loadout. I'm going to try to get my cash back. Kind of a rookie mistake there. I would pull even lower to the ground if you if you're experienced enough at doing it. Uh, your no, your stuff's in the next lane. It's in the next lane over. Where are you going? Hey, yeah, he thought it was. Oh, dude, unlucky. Your stuff's in this lane, and he stopped here. Camper and cheater. 152 ping. Lovely. But honestly, man. Super, super solid player. The cheater missed. And body shot. How do you only have four kills and are cheating that hard? Area recon. Oh my gosh, no wonder you need these cheats. This is pathetic. I'm totally fine with people cheating. I'm not fine with people cheating. But I understand people cheating in like solo quads and just getting an insane amount of kills. But if you need to cheat in solos, like you just suck, bro. How can you tell he's cheating? Look at all this pre-aims. This guy hasn't been caught off guard one time and pre-aims every single angle perfectly. And the 152 ping doesn't, uh, doesn't help. They can never hit the down players, can they? Pull your XM4. Told you I hold a grudge. What's he aiming at there? <laughs> Requesting area recon.
Yeah, this guy's this guy's walling. He has four spectators. Um walling and he's got a soft aim of some sort that he is toggling. Because sometimes he misses everything, but like they're all headies. Beginning of that gunfight, all headies. What just Wait, what? Why are you wasting a perfectly good Simtex? And I think he just killed another cheater. Slinky Orc is like a notorious cheater name. I'm pretty sure he just killed another cheater. Yeah, he is a he has a 3.21 KD overall, a 5 plus, a 5.7 KD, and Calling a for air yeah, my <laughs> yeah, okay, and a 55% headshot rating. Or 55% headshot percentage. Notice how he's like... Like... Ooh. You can't flash the red boxes, though. Sorry to inform you, you cannot flash the red boxes. So to whoever was wondering how we knew he was cheating, I hope you are thoroughly convinced. Thoroughly convinced. Alright, screw that guy. That's unfortunate. Uh, Lee, man, you're a demon, bro. Uh, you, you play very hesitant. Um, and in moments of transition, you... You're... I, I don't know if you're hesitating or if you're second guessing yourself or what. You've got really good gun skill. You've got pretty good movement, minus the fact that I don't think I saw you hit a single B hop from the very first chal of the game. That you probably could have gotten a double kill. Good shots here. Push. Jump, jump, and you'd be around that corner, right? Do all the other places that you're transitioning across the map, running with your OTS, pulling out your XM4, you need to be, um, you're making yourself a little bit too easy of a target, and you're wasting a lot of precious time, man. Like, when we killed all this time in here for three kills, brother, we have, we have 20, 24k, and we are not zooming? Uh... So that's play style, right? That's play style differences. But there, there's some more things that you can do. I, you, you, I say all this because I know you have the gun skill to be a hell of a lot player, hell of a better, hell of a lot better player than you are allowing yourself to be right now. Stuff like this, crouching through transition, uh, only getting one ping out of your advanced UAV, uh, not buying UAVs when you had an excess amount of cash. Not buying self revival when you had an excess amount of cash. Buying a second loadout when you have another loadout coming in 45 seconds. Like, there's some little things that you can start really cracking down on. And brother, keep it up. But, ladies and gentlemen, hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. Once again, we have two community breakdowns a week. One's from a better player, one KD plus, And one's from a um, more growing player, 0.8 KD and up. Uh, so we kind of get both sides of players who are demons in the community and players who are improving. There are a lot of guys that have like a overall 0.8 KD, but their weeklies are like 1.4 uh, because they're becoming better and better players. If you guys want to submit your gameplay to have it reviewed live, make sure to join me over on Discord. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, make sure to drop a like because this is the new channel. Subscribe if you want to see more and uh, join me over on Twitch if you want to catch this gameplay review live. And finally, shout out to Lee. All of his stuff is linked in the description. If you want to say, hey, GG's man to him in chat, uh, you can join him on his Twitch channel linked in the description. But until further ado, catch you guys tomorrow for the next video. Peace.